Hey everyone, so I earned my bachelor's degree in seven months. And let me say it again, I earned my bachelor's degree in seven months, right around $1,000 for the cost. I wanna tell you how I did that and how you can possibly do it too. Now, the way I did that is I went through a school called WGU. Now, WGU stands for Western Governors University, and if you're watching this video, you probably went on YouTube and you're looking for a video about WGU. Now, I graduated from there with my bachelor's degree in cybersecurity, and I wanna tell you real briefly my story. Before we get to that though, let's talk about WGU. Let's set the context, especially if you are coming to this video trying to figure out what is WGU, is it legit? Now there's really three things. If you're looking for an online school, there's three questions you need to ask. Question number one is what's the accreditation? Now I work right now at a college, a smaller college, and accreditation is huge. And there's really um, two big accreditations you're gonna hear about. Some schools say they are nationally accredited. Now that sounds good. You would assume like the word national in that means it's a good accreditation, but national accreditation really isn't that awesome. If you go to a school that is only nationally accredited, there's a good chance that your credits won't transfer to other schools. Instead, what you wanna look for is regional accreditation. WGU is regionally accredited. What that means is it has the same accreditation as all the state schools in your state, all the big state schools, and credits from WGU will transfer to virtually any other school. The other thing you need to figure out when it comes to colleges, are they for-profit or non-profit? A lot of the for-profit schools are the commercials you see on TV, and those are the ones that scam you and rip you off. WGU is non-profit, so once again, a good sign. But what sets WGU apart and how I was able to finish my degree in seven months is it's a competency-based education. Big word, CBE, competency-based education. And in a simple way to explain it, you are measured not on the amount of classes you attend, not on the lectures you watch, but on the competency you demonstrate. So for a lot of my classes in the IT program, the end goal was like, hey, you need this industry certificate. So like one of my classes, you had to get the Security Plus, and that was the end goal. When you got the Security Plus, you passed the class. And WGU doesn't care how you get there. So you can lay out like your own path for your education and knock out that class as fast as you possibly can do it. So that's WGU kind of in a nutshell, but let me share with you my story. I made kind of a radical career pivot. So for about 10 years, I was in pastoral ministry and I came to WGU with two degrees already. I had an associate's degree in business administration and a master's degree in divinity and theology. Now, if you're paying attention, you realize I didn't have a bachelor's. I had this strange thing where I got my associates, then I jumped into my master's based on degree equivalency. I'm not gonna go into detail on that, but my master's of divinity was actually through another school called Sioux Falls Seminary that's competency-based education. So I already had like this framework in my head, so that's probably what helped me accelerate. And although I was in pastoral ministry, I always did IT work on the side. So the different churches I worked at, I often managed the network, I managed web design, I managed those different things. So I didn't jump into this program brand new to IT. I've always kind of done it on the side. Uh, not only that, kind of a fun story. When I was in high school, I got banned from touching the computer. Uh, me and a friend used to go on this old website, I think it might still be around, called hackthissite.org. And we'd pull like all-nighters on hackthesite.org learning like SQL injection and different attacks. And we'd go to school and try to run scripts. And of course we got caught and we were banned from touching a computer. And it's really awkward to do like a PowerPoint when you can't touch a computer. So once again, I'm not brand new to IT. I've always had an interest in IT. Uh, and I started this program because I realized I needed to make a career pivot. I was leading a church in the midst of COVID. And what COVID did is it really shrunk the church I was leading down to a place where it really wasn't feasible for me to have a full-time salary. And I have a wife and I have two kids and I'm the primary source of income. So I recognized like I needed to do something different. I needed a different way to pay the bills. So I enrolled in the bachelor's program in cybersecurity at WGU, had the background in competency-based education, knocked out my degree in seven months, and kind of a few milestones from that, one month into the program, I got my first IT job. I was an IT support specialist, and then only five months into my program, I got a call from a college I worked at doing unrelated work called Southeast Technical College, 
And I got a call from there asking if I was interested in becoming the manager of the support center on campus. And so then I moved into that role and that's the role I've been at for the past year. So while I was in the program, before I even finished my degree, I got two job offers, one doing as an IT support specialist, and the second being a manager of an IT support center kind of department, which is the position I am in now. So I can tell you, if you're on the fence about WGU, it's worth it, it's worth it. But what I wanna share with you is just my kind of four pieces of advice that I would offer to you based on my own experience at WGU, especially if you're considering going there. Uh, number one is this, make sure WGU is a good fit for you. Right? It was a good fit for me, but we all have unique journeys. We all have unique stories. You need to make sure WGU is a good fit for you. And here are some questions to consider. Number one, are you a self-starter? Right? At WGU, no one's going to hold your hand. It's not like a traditional school where instructors are yelling at you most of the time because you're not turning in your assignment. No one is really going to tell you what you have to do. You do have some mentor meetings that keep you on track, but you need to be a self-starter if you're going to succeed at WGU. Number two, are you motivated? Like, are you motivated to learn? Like, even after I graduated, I continue to study probably the same amount of hours on programming and ethical hacking and those different concepts because they fascinate me. Are you motivated to learn? Are you motivated to put in the work? And Really, the next thing is, are you willing to own your own educational journey? You make WGU yours. You get out of it what you put into it. Are you willing to craft your own pathway for success and your own pathway for a career? So once again, number one, is WGU right for you? Only you can answer that. My second piece of advice is once you get enrolled and you get started, search every class on Reddit. Right, So when you start your program, you'll get different class codes like C138, just as an example. Go to Reddit, go to the WGU Reddit and search for that class code. And there's literally hundreds of posts of people who have finished the class saying, here's what I studied, here's what was useful, here's what was not useful. What I did as soon as I began a new course, I would go to Reddit, I would look at people's comments and what they said was helpful, and I would literally form what I call the battle plan. I would make a document saying, here are the things that I need to do. I'd have a specific timeline and then I would stick to it. So search every class on Reddit. My third piece of advice is this. If you're not already in the field, start applying for jobs immediately, right? Education is good. A degree is good, but experience is even better. And having a degree plus experience is going to be a great fit for you. So if you are applying for the IT program and you're not already working in the field, don't wait till you graduate to apply for jobs. Apply for jobs yesterday, right? Do not wait. Apply for them right now. Get your foot in the door. On your resume, put bachelor's degree in progress and even the certifications, put all of those on there and say in progress. And once you knock out like the A plus, network plus, security plus, put those on your resume. Keep applying for jobs. Get your foot in the door because your experience plus your degree is going to put you in a really good path for your own career journey. And kind of my final piece of advice is join a study group. I started a group every Monday night. We meet for an hour, um, not even other people pursuing their degrees, but it's all people who are interested in learning in IT or growing in the field. And we meet to share our learning goals and to hold one another accountable. So we really just answer two questions. Each one of us answers, answers the question, hey, what did we learn this past week? What was I working on this past week? What are some goals I accomplished? And what are my goals for this week? And then as we meet the following week, we ask one another, like, did you accomplish your goals? And if not, what are you gonna do differently this week to accomplish those goals? So those are my four pieces of advice. Make sure WG is a good fit for you. Search every single class on Reddit. If you're not already in the field, start applying for jobs yesterday and join a study group. And hey, I've been there, um, I've done that, and matter of fact, I'm doing it again. So I finished my bachelor's in cybersecurity, I'm starting my master's in cybersecurity on April 1st, and my goal is to knock out the master's in one six month semester so I can save time doing it. So if you're about to become a night owl, I just wanna say good luck to you. If I can be of assistance to you at all, uh, send me a message, leave a comment on this video. If you wanna join us on our Monday night groups, Anyone can join that. It's free. It's very informal. We just hang out and we talk IT stuff. Let me know and I will send you that invite. Other than that, good luck. Peace out.